Hello YouTube and welcome to my new video. Okay, today I'm going to be talking about the new army fitness test. If you don't know who I am, I'm Craig. I serve in the British Army in Household Cavalry Regiment and I've been in about 12 years now and I've started this channel to share my experiences and top tips within the British Army and just my love for fitness and to help you improve your fitness to either further your career within the Army or to join the British Army. Okay, so today like I said, I'm going to be talking about the new Army Fitness Test, okay? Because the Army, as of 1st of April, is changing from the PFA to PEZ, okay? And this is for a reason because it's a bit outdated, the old fitness test, okay? You've got your mile and a half run, you're doing shorts, t shirt, and trainers, okay? And never are you ever going to run in trainers, shorts, and t shirt, okay? You're always going to be fully kitted out. Boots, trousers, you back or shirt, with your wear bin, body armor, day sack, helmet, and all that sort of stuff. Okay, so you need to be a lot more uh, strengthened and conditioned uh, for how we fight nowadays. So that's why they've brought in this new fitness test. It's going to consist of six different events or exercises, and the first one being is the loaded march. I'm going to give a small little description. Um, and the dog's just getting involved. I'm going to give a small little description um, of each uh, task that is, um, is part of the test. And then in future videos, I will break down uh, each event um, so you can see each event, how it works. And then in more videos, I'm going to show you how you could train to improve yourself so you have um, no problems passing these tests at all. So like I said, the first one then is uh, a loaded march okay and it's going to consist of a four kilometer loaded march carrying 40 kilos and you're going to have 50 minutes to do it if you're paratrained or within 16 aerosol you're going to have 35 minutes to do it that, that's going to be followed by a two kilometer uh, loaded march carrying 25 kilos in 15 minutes or 12 and a half minutes if you're 16 aerosol or paratrained okay the next one then is fire maneuver Okay, this is 27 and a half meter tactical bounds. Okay, controlled by the PTI, followed by a 15 meter crawl and a 15 meter sprint in 55 seconds. Okay, so you've got bound 20 times, seven and a half meters each bound. Okay, this is uh, followed by a 15 meter crawl, so a leopard crawl, 15 meters, not too far, and then a 15 meter sprint in 55 seconds. Okay, shouldn't have too many problems doing that. Okay. That should be quite fine, but I'll show you how to train for that in future videos. Okay, the next one, very important one then, this is what we should test for and we haven't in the old test, but now we are going to, is the casualty drag, okay? That's a 110 kilogram bag pull over 20 meters in 35 seconds. If you wonder why I keep looking down, just got it all written down on my phone, so don't get it wrong, so you get all the correct information. Okay, so it's 110 kilos, okay, bag, over 20 meters and 35 seconds okay that's pretty cheeky and the reason it's 110 kilos not everyone in the army weighs 110 kilos nowhere near that we're not all strong men or bodybuilders that is because if you've got an average 80 kilo man or woman might be a bit less but put their body armor on then you put the webbing on then you put the day sack on helmet and all their other gear okay they're going to weigh a lot okay you're not going to have time to strip all that off them get them down to their bare minimum you need to get that casualty out of there as quickly as possible so that's why the casualty drag is 110 kilos okay next then is the water can carry okay this is to simulate doing a stretcher carry okay so this is two 22 kilo jerry cans in each hand Okay, and you need to do 240 meters in four minutes. Okay, that's just going to put pressure, you know, it's going to hurt your shoulders and your legs, but it's also your grip. You're going to need to have strong grip to hold those jerry cans. Okay, and like I said, in future videos, I'll show you how you can improve all of that so you have no problems passing that. One is to simulate vehicle casualty back. Okay, so we've had a casualty drag, a stretcher carry, and quite popular now you know we do a lot of work within armored vehicles or any sort of vehicle okay so this is to simulate um, extracting a casualty out of a vehicle okay and that's a 70 kilo lift okay sort of a deadlift you're going to be standing on two boxes 
you're going to have a 70 kilo weight on a rope in between your legs. You're going to have all your kit on and you're basically just going to stand up and then you're going to hold um, for three seconds and then you're going to release. And then the final one then is a repeated lift and carry. Okay. So this is shifting bags weighing 20 kilos 20 times over a 30 meter distance in 14 minutes. Okay, so you've got to run back and forward with a 20 kilo bag over 30 meters in 14 minutes. This simulates loads of stuff. Carrying, um, doing ammunition resupplies, water resupplies, any sort of re resupply. So your blokes out on the front, if you're slightly back, okay, this is going to simulate something like that. Okay, this is a short video. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Okay, this is just a breakdown of uh, the new Army Fitness Test because I'm getting a lot of questions about the new Army Fitness Test. So I wanted to let you know what the uh, fitness um, tests involve and in future videos I'm going to break them down so you can see how they work, see how they're done and how you can improve yourself. Hope you enjoyed it guys and I'll catch you soon.